Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Now in today's video, guys, I'm going to be bringing you a really good run defense in Madden 20. This is somewhat based on a video that Venom Fire, a really good friend of mine, released. Or not a friend of mine, but he's, he, we're acquaintances, right? I'm sometimes in his comment section, you know, just saying hello. But man, what an inspirational man. If you want to check out his YouTube, it's going to be in the link down in the description. His video, I believe he did the 4-3 over 6-1. I believe that was the formation. Today, we are going to be working out of the 5-2 normal formation. So guys, before we get into the video, if you want to follow my Twitter, it's going to be down in the description below. They will get, you'll stay up to date on my most recent videos. Also, if you want to go check out my two most recent videos, the first one where I go over, I, I give you guys a really good scheme out of single back deuce close. And then the second video was, I actually forgot. Oh yeah, it was a really good run defense out of nickel 335 wide. Those are both going to be in the card. Any other guys, let's go ahead. Let's get into it. Okay guys, so here we go. We are into practice mode right now. I'm currently using the Dallas Cowboys and we're going to be running out of 5-2 normal here. And this play is going to be the pinch play. Now quickly guys, let's get into the personnel subs before we get into anything. So quickly guys here, the first, the sub you're going to make here, you're going to be using these safeties right here, these two top safeties. So what I did was I actually looked at the best change of direction rating. So how I did that was I simply just went into my depth chart. I recommend doing this right before your games, go into your depth chart. And what I did was I went to cornerback because they have some of the highest change of direction ratings. Well, actually I kind of, I went to safety. So what I did was I went to check the change of direction ratings. As you can see, Hawkland has 84 change of direction. Yet down here, this Jordan Lewis, he has 89. And then Mar Maurice Kennedy has 89 as well. So what you're going to do is you're going to sub in these corners at safety. So what you're going to do here is I'm going to go. I'm just going to show you guys it right now. So we're going to go back into 5-2 right here. And we're going to press R1 to bring up our substitution menu. And we're going to go to our free safety here. And we are going to sub in. I believe I already have Kennedy up here. And Jordan Lewis is actually right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sub in Daryl Worley right here. And then I'm going to sub in Jordan Lewis right here as a player. Now, if I do sub in Anthony Brown, he has a 76. So he's a little bit better. So there we go anyway. So now we have the best change of direction, both at 89. And also these guys are pretty fast. So what we're going to do here is we're going to come out here in this pinch play. Those are all the adjustments, the personnel subs you have to make. So we're going to come out and pinch. And what we're going to do is I'm going to show this against the inside handoff as well as the outside handoff. And here we go. So we're going to run against the inside run first. So basically, this is what the defense is going to look like stock. As you can see, it's kind of a mess. You know, it's just your simple man coverage concept. Now we're going to fix this. So the first adjustment we're going to make is we're going to blitz all linebackers, which is going to be pressing right in the D-pad and flicking the right stick down. What that's going to do is this Leighton Van Der Esch and also Jalen Smith, they're going to be blitzing. And it's just going to provide more support in the run. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to press, which is going to be pressing triangle and then flicking the left stick down. And what you're going to do is you're going to keep pressing it. And basically you're going to press, you're going to keep doing it. What you're going to do is you're going to blitz linebackers and press. You're going to keep pressing. You're going to keep doing that until both of these linebackers right here come down that they're right on the offensive line. That's going to be very, very key here. That's going to provide some extra block sheds. Maybe one of them will get through and it will provide you a hole to get through as well. Now the final adjustment we're going to make here is we're going to slide your, your we're going to slant to the left, the defensive line. So how you're going to do that, you're going to press the left D-pad and flick the right stick to the left. What this is going to allow you to do is with your user, you're going to be able to shoot the gap wherever the run's going to the right or to the left. It does not matter. You're going to be able to shoot that gap and you're going to get a very easy tackle. So basically what I recommend doing here is I recommend using the safety that's on the running back. So I'm going to use our Jordan Lewis here. I'm going to bring him down to the box and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and find this hole in the offensive line. I'm going to shoot through it, and then I'm going to click off. So I'm going to show you guys an example of this right now. I used to, I usually would like to line up around right here. So you can see here, I'm just going to shoot that gap. So I believe Tristan Hill, he did shoot that gap right there. But I'm going to show you, I'm going to showcase why this is so good right here. So what we're going to do is we are going to be looking on the offensive line. So we're going to go, as you can see, as the play develops, bam, there's a hole right there. There was also a hole right here. I can't really get it on my cursor, but right in the middle of Darren Waller and Trent Brown, there was a hole right there, as well as in the middle of Rodney Hudson. I believe that's Colton Miller and or Alex Ingold. There was a hole right there. Tristan Hill was able to block shed and he was in my opponent lost four yards on that play. 
but also Maurice Kennedy, the my user, was right there as well. So it's going to really, really help. And that is why it's so good. If you slant to the left, it, you're going to be able to shoot that gap. Now, if you do not slant to the left, no gap's going to open up. And you're going to give up a very easy touchdown. You're going to have to loop around the defensive line. Either you got to pray for a block shed or you're going to have to give up or you're going to give up a touchdown. So basically that was in more of a like stack set. It was more stacked to the right side. Now in this case here, if, and also the safety was on the running back. Now in this case here, no safeties are on the running back. So we're just going to set it up as usual here. And actually this is the best case scenario. As you can see, both the linebackers came down, which is perfect. Now what we're going to do in this case here is we're going to man, we're going to use her the safety that's manned up on a tight end in this situation so we're going to use her Mar maurice kennedy right here we're going to use her him and just the same setup here you're going to blitz linebackers you're going to press and then you're going to slant to the left and by the way the setup will be down in the description if you guys want that but basically here we go this is what it's going to be here and what we're going to do we're just i kind of jumped the gun there but what I'm going to do, I'm just going to stand here. And as you can see, um, this is a bad example. But as you can see, we were not able to shoot that hole. And that's what happens. If your user is pretty bad, you're going to give up a touchdown. So that's why I recommend clicking off if you're a novice like me. And using them not necessarily the best. So here we go. This is a good situation. As you can see, Maris Kennedy is on the running back. So we're just going to run this here. And as you can see, all I did was blitz linebackers and press. I did that twice. And how you go to blitz linebackers, once again, right on the D-pad, down the right stick. And then, uh, whoops, I did not mean to do that. So basically, right on the D-pad, down on the right stick. Or, excuse me, down on the... Okay, so you're going to press right in the D-pad, down on the right stick. And then to press, it's going to be triangle. And then down on the left stick, that's going to press here. You're going to do that as many times until the middle linebackers, they end up shooting, they end up getting pre pretty much on the defensive line. Then you're going to slant to the left, which is going to be left D-pad, and then flick the right stick to the left. So what you're going to do here is you're going to get on the safety that is manned up either on the running back or on a tight end because you don't want to get a guy manned up on a receiver because then it leaves a guy open. So we're going to run this play here. Very, very simple. Just want to make sure I'm slanting to the left here. It's very, very key. You do this. And as you can see, I'm just going to shoot that gap. I would have gotten there, but Jalen Smith got there before me. And as you can see, loss of four yards. It is super, super simple. Now, guys, we're going to be moving on to doing it against outside runs. And I'm going to show you that this is basically a one-size-fits-all run defense against the against other, other runs as well. Not only just inside runs, but also outside runs. So... Here we go. We're going to run this pinch, and then we are going to be going to an outside handoff. We're just going to do a random one. And what we're going to do on this play, same thing. Puts on linebackers and press. Puts on linebackers press. And sometimes it takes like three times to do it. I don't know why Jalen Smith is not coming down. Honestly, you could just deal with it. And as you can see, um, another way you can do this as well is just to press multiple times. That's another way you can do it if your players are not going down. So once again here, I'm going to be using Jordan Lewis considering he's on the running back. We're going to slant to the left here. And we're going to be trying to find where he's going to go. So as you can see, he goes right there. I'm going to click off. Very, very easy there. My opponent loses a yard. And if he were to try to juke or spin move back inside, there would have been a guy right there. So what we're going to do, we're going to use her. Let's go with, uh, in this situation here, where there's a tight end and a receiver to one side, you're going to use this right safety because there's two tight ends in this, tight ends in this side of the formation. So, once again here, blitz all linebackers, press. You're just going to press multiple times here. You don't have to blitz all linebackers. I did just realized that. All you have to do is just blitz all linebackers and press enough until those li that linebacker goes down. And you're going to slide to the left here. You're, protect or you're going to slant your defense, defensive line to the left, and we're going to be trying to find this hole here wherever he decides to run this ball. So as you can see, it is going to be a jet sweep, unfortunately, but we are able to take him down. Jet sweeps don't really count in this situation, so that's one thing. So let's on linebackers, we're going to press multiple times until he comes down. And then what we're going to do in this situation here, once again, we're going to be using this safety. Slide to the left here. we watching. It's another... It's another, that's another jet sweep with the tight end. Who would run that in an online game? I really don't know, honestly, unless it was got like a challenge or something. So here we go. Jordan Lewis, we're going to get on him real quick. It's very, very key. And it's going to be another jet sweep. But as you can see, right there, blows up the jet sweep perfectly. You're able to just do that. Come on, man. Just, just give us a stretch. It's not that hard. It was really easy in Madden 19 to do stretches. So Madden 20 should be no different. But in this situation here, this is actually a very interesting situation. So basically, if a safety is on a wide receiver, if you're getting a formation like this, just go on this safety. It's not really a big deal. So we're just going to go like this. 
So as you can see, we're able to shoot that gap, we clicked off, and it's going to be a very, very easy loss. And also, if he were to shed that tackle, we would have had our defensive line there. So I just want to get one more good one here. So blitz on linebackers, we're going to press as many times as it takes. And I accidentally did that. I accidentally clicked on. So remember, guys, if you do click on to one of the linebackers by accident, they will go off the, of the defensive line. So you just want to make sure that they go back on. All you have to do is just press again. Here you go. So that's to the left. We're just going to be... Winning on this, please don't be a jet sweep. No, it is a jet sweep. But as you can see, jet sweep. See, that would have been a tackle in the backfield. And for some reason, Henry Ruggs is stiff arming people now. I mean, I didn't know he was like DK Metcalf, but it's whatever. So here we go. We're just going to press multiple times. We're going to use our Jordan Lewis, slide to the left. And then we're just going to wait here. So as you can see. All right. So actually, that was not really the best angle I took. If I had probably taken a wider angle, I was able to do that. And I, was, I would have been able to stop him in the backfield. I do want to get one more here. So let's just go here. And I accidentally used her Demarcus Lawrence. So here we go. It's another jet sweep. What is going on with these jet sweeps? But as you can see, really easy tackle in the backfield. Can we not get jet sweeps for like once in this video? Like honestly. Alright, why are you not coming down? So basically, if you keep pressing and that other linebacker does not come down, just blitz all linebackers and press again. It will work. Yes. Yeah, so once again, the setup, you're going to blitz all linebackers, you're going to press, and you're going to keep doing that until the two middle linebackers get down on the defensive line. Then you're going to slide, or you're going to slant your defensive line to the left, which could be left on the D-pad and then left on the right stick. You're going to use the safety that's either on the running back or... Or if it's a two tight end set, it's going to be on, on one of the tight ends that's on the opposite side of the field. Basically, you're going to get this here. You'll see in video, you know, an example of this. So as you can see, we're going to run this play. Now, as you, as, as you can see, that was pretty good blocking right there. Really, a hole did not open up. Unless I really didn't recognize it. I probably didn't, honestly. To be honest here, so... I mean, yeah, I tried to, I see I, what I tried to do was I tried to shoot that gap right there. It didn't really work. Luckily though, that's the best thing. We did have Jalen Smith right there, but as you can see guys, this run play is really good. I just want to do one more until we lose yards or force the opponent to lose yards on this play. So, you know, it really doesn't matter for the user here. So I'm just going to go with this. As you can see, I'm going to run this play. If I go off, boom. As you can see, I believe that was Jalen Smith and also um, and, er, and also our user were right there for the easy tackle. So, guys, hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, smash a like. Stretch my five likes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Most importantly, stay classy.